Hi, my name is Dr. Jeanette DeWitt with DeWitt Physical Therapy and Wellness. My practice serves the Kenosha, Racine, and surrounding communities in southeastern Wisconsin. If you would like more information about my practice, please visit www.dewittphysicaltherapyandwellness.com. If you are beginning an exercise program, I strongly encourage you to consult with a local physical therapist or contact my office for a health and wellness evaluation. This will provide you with baseline measurements for your strength and your flexibility. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate a few stretches specific to runners. However, these stretches can be beneficial for any athlete in any sport or any exerciser. The first stretch is a gastrocnemius calf stretch. This is performed in a standing position, head looking forward, hands on the wall, and one leg extended backwards behind you. The back leg is straight and a stretch should be felt in the upper calf muscle, right in this area. You will hold this stretch for 15 to 20 seconds, then switch and perform on the opposite side. After 15 to 20 seconds, you can bend your back leg knee. This will stretch the soleus muscle and you will feel this more down by the Achilles tendon area. After 15 to 20 seconds, switch and perform on the opposite leg. Another good stretch is the hamstring stretch. You want to lay on your back, knees bent, and extend one knee. For more of a stretch, point your toes down toward your nose and hold 15 to 20 seconds. Switch and do the opposite side and hold another 15 to 20 seconds. Because we sit a lot during our work days or as students at a desk, our hip flexor muscles in the front of our hip can get very tight. Thus a hip flexor stretch is a very important stretch. You perform this by squeezing your gluteal muscles, keeping your belly button drawn into your spine and your back or spine upright. If you don't feel a stretch in this position, then you can lean slightly forward. Hold 15 to 20 seconds, then perform on the opposite side. Again, squeeze your gluteal muscles. Keep your abdominals tight by drawing your belly button in towards your spine and keep your spine straight. If you don't feel a stretch, you may lean slightly forward. In the standing position, you can hold on for balance. Grab your opposite foot with your opposite hand and this is an excellent quadriceps stretch. It is important to use your opposite hand to grab your foot. This relieves some of the pressure on the cartilage of the knee and helps prevent injury. You can also perform this stretch without support and incorporate a balance exercise into the stretch. An excellent stretch for the hip and IT band is the IT band or iliotibial band stretch. You cross your leg and reach to the side. You can use a wall for support and hold 15 to 20 seconds. Switch sides. You can also perform this exercise without a wall for support and hold 15 to 20 seconds. All static stretches can be held for 15 to 20 seconds without bouncing. This helps promote 
flexibility and improved circulation to reduce muscle soreness following a workout. I hope this answers some of your questions about stretches following a running program or your specific sport.